Hey everybody and welcome back and today we're talking again about the RetroPie emulation station and I'm going to show you how you can play Nintendo DS games on your RetroPie setup. <laughs> Like PSP emulation, this is experimental, it doesn't always give you the best results, but my experience so far has been much better than with the PSP emulation. Now by Nintendo DS, I mean the very first iteration of the console, so the 3DS and the 2DS games, they will not work with this method. The only thing you're going to need is some Nintendo DS ROMs, the accepted formats are .NDS and .zip. First thing you're going to need to do is to install the emulator on your RetroPie system. So go to the RetroPie configuration menu, RetroPie setup. Find Manage Packages. This emulator isn't in optional packages like the PSP and Dreamcast one. This one is super experimental, so you're going to find it in Manage Experimental Packages. There's two available options, LR Des Mume and Drastic. The reason I've chose Drastic is because I had troubles installing LR Des Mume, which is a shame because it runs with the RetroArt configs and would require less controller and user setup. If you get it working, let me know in the comments and I'll try again. So, find Drastic, click install from binary, install from binary is the only option, we usually click install from source. This one is a lot quicker to install than the PSP emulation, so maybe just get yourself a top up on your brew or your coffee, get some digestive biscuits, give them a few dunks, and it should be ready to go. So less than five minutes later, it's finished, back out of all the menus, and restart your retro pie. Now it's time to add the ROM, so as always, go to the Windows Explorer bar, Type in backslash backslash RetroPie, go to ROMs, find the new NDS folder, and copy and paste your ROMs. Drag them across, Control V, however you want to do it. And once they've copied over, another quick reset of the Raspberry Pi, and we should be good to go. There it is, Nintendo DS. To launch game and enter the configuration menu. The default setting is to waggle the analog stick, like so. You can change the options, controls, firmware, and even a, a few cheats. So in the options, we've got different screen orientations, vertical, horizontal, single screens, the scaling of the screen, a screen swap, which means you can swap the top and the bottom one, and lots of other settings for you to mess around and play with. The next thing you want to do is to go to configure controls. Now from what I can tell, it's been mapped pretty well, like up, down, left, right. You can use this sheet here, but up, down, left, right, and the D-pad works. A, B, X and Y and the two trigger buttons, they seem to be mapped okay. What you want to do is find extra controls and find enter menu and change that to one of the back buttons, L2 or R2, because you're going to want to use the joystick for something else. Once you're finished with this, go down and press exit, save for all games. And then to make sure everything's okay, return to game. There we go. It doesn't control very well, but the game itself does seem to be running quite stable. We've got 100% at the top. To exit the games, you don't press start and select like you would other ones. You go to the menu and press exit drastic. Jean Valjean. Who are you? Jean Valjean. Classic. Oh, come on. 15 minute intro. There we are, we've got smaller. Do we play this game in the morning? And there it is, most games are running at a relatively quick speed. It is very experimental and if it does crash, it does crash. And I would highly recommend backing up your SD card before you do anything with Drastic. Couple of tips for you. Uh, the cursor, the touchscreen cursor, it is there. You just have to keep moving. I've got it set to the right analog stick right now, and it is somewhere at the bottom of the screen, maybe to the left, and there it is. Just keep looking, and eventually you'll find it and move it over the touch screen. And have your click to click it. At first, it took me nearly. <laughs> Took me nearly 30 minutes to find this cursor, but then it was actually there. I was like, where is the touchscreen cursor? How am I supposed to do it? It turns out it is there. It's just like a mouse on a computer. You've just got to move it around until it comes into the frame that you need and then keep it at the bottom. 
Another tip is if you go into the options and change the screen orientation to horizontal on full screen, and save that for all games and return to the game, it gives you this. So it all depends on preference really, if you want it horizontal or vertical. Personally, I think I'd rather have it... Ooh. Personally, I'd rather have it vertical, but oh, some people are different. If you find a game is slowing down, frame skip's always a good one. And there's lots of settings, so just play with the settings and check online to find out what you think is better. Just make sure the control's okay. Other than that, compared to the actual PSP emulation, this seems to be running a ton better. And that's all I've got time for today. If you've liked this video, then please hit that like button, smash it if you so well please. And if you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. I've got a bunch more RetroPie tutorials in the work. I'm going to play with these settings a bit more, learn a bit more, and then pass that knowledge onto you in the form of these videos. It's rather impressive that the RetroPie can even achieve this and the fact that they're experimenting with it is a huge plus. It means that eventually by Raspberry Pi 6 or 7 we could have a huge monster of a machine and hopefully PS2 emulation. Wouldn't that be a dream? And remember, don't do anything I wouldn't do. Also, let me know in the comments what the Nintendo DS games you plan to play because... Uh, I'm a bit of a stump with DS games. I've got Yoshi's Island, Super Mario, any really good Nintendo DS games that you remember, throw them my way because I'd love to play them. Have I said don't do anything I wouldn't do? I have done. Uh, well, stay awesome. Who says that? I don't know who says that.